Do you have a plan for repairing vehicles with ADAS? We're gonna find out why that's important next. The collision repair industry is once again being faced with something new. Electronics and procedures needed after a vehicle has been crushed, hit, welded, painted, and put back together again. How do you figure out your plan? First, ask yourself the following questions. What vehicle brands constitute about 75% of your shop's work? What OE shop agreements do you have? Will you be fixing wire harnesses and programming modules and computers? Do you understand software subscriptions and the updates needed? Do you understand security gateway modules, basic electronics, programming keys and immobilizers? Do you have a NASTIF certification? Repairing a vehicle correctly is not just about plugging into a car and getting a DTC and having a miraculous roadmap to tell you how to fix the problem. If you can't read a wiring diagram, you'll have some issues fixing a vehicle that has been crushed, split, and mashed. Another part of the equation is who's running the tool or doing the repairs. They need to understand electronics and computers as well as modules, relays, and Ohm's law. The tool is only 30% of what you need. The technician is 70% of the need. This is why there are companies that employ brand specialists in the repair of vehicle electronics to service shops across the country. They're vital to the collision industry. If you're going to buy equipment, you'll need a plan. First, where are you gonna do this work? Calibrations have space requirements in a shop. Research and be aware of where your cars are being calibrated. Do you need OE software? How much do you want to invest? The reality is that you will spend a lot of money and time and still not be able to service all the cars you repair. Modify your plan and accept that you may need an alternative solution for possibly 35% of the cars that come into your shop in order to safely complete electronics and diagnostics as well as calibrations. As an industry, we're still missing many procedures that are supposed to be performed to correctly repair the vehicle. Until you know during blueprinting what procedures are necessary, you will not know what software or scan tools will be required. The flip side of this statement is the liability of not completing all repairs. The Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers and the Association of Global Automakers, who represent automakers producing more than 99% of new cars and light trucks sold in the United States, put it best. Failure to follow OEM repair procedures in the course of a post-collision repair should be considered an unauthorized modification of a vehicle and its systems, introducing the potential for bodily injury and death to any future drivers and occupants of the vehicle, as well as occupants in other motor vehicles on the roadway. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.